Greetings, beautiful ones. In the morning, it takes me a while for my brain and mouth to connect. So before that happens, I usually just whine incoherently for a while. Um, and then I'm able to finally form coherent words. Um, but I figure while I'm kind of still waking up and trying to make sure that I'm enunciating clearly uh, so that I can best serve my clients, why not tell y'all a story about when I was in retail? Um, so this is not a psychic retail story. This is just a retail story. Well, long story short, we would um, stock items in the front, usually seasonal items. This day it happened to be fans. And then before the sun went down, when it was still light outside, we would take everything, put it on a cart, and then shove it in some random area of the store. Usually closed because that wasn't as heavily shopped in the evenings. So, um, so one of these days I was picking up these fans, like trying to do it two by two, and they were in boxes, and I was setting them onto the cart to roll them inside. And there was this obnoxious fan. It had a stand, a stick, and then a frame that went up. And then inside the frame was the price. And they would fall over all the time. It was obnoxious. And um, when you're trying to do something and you think you got it situated and it would fall right over. So I was moving the fans and I thought, oh gosh, I must have, um, when I was pulling them away, I felt something. And I thought, well, I must have moved that sign. And it was standing up right in front of me. Um, so I'm kind of barely half paying attention to it through my peripheral and then all of a sudden I see it fall into my leg and I think I had moved or something and I see it fall and I look down because I was annoyed and it was a snake the whole time I did not realize this because I was so fixated on what I was doing well anyways um we would have to break things down and like boxes and stuff so if you had just a few in one box and you know You'd have to put the rest into something. Well, somebody did that with the hula hoops. So the hula hoop box was packed so tight with all the random extra hula hoops that you couldn't hardly pull them out. It was really heavy too. Um, so anyways, there was a little hole in the corner of it. And um, as the snake slither slithered off, his tail was shaking. And it went right into that hole in the hula hoop box. And me and a coworker were trying to get the hula hoops out to get to the snake. And we'd pull one hula hoop. Well, she did. And, um, and as she would pull it, it's like you could hear the hula hoops all shaking, those little rattles inside. Then you would hear this, the snake's tail hitting the box. And it was the eeriest thing. Like of all things, really, really hula hoops and a rattlesnake. 